Welcome to my 300 pound DIY heat pump project. This is a tour of my setup to talk you through how and why I did it. The heat pump is really an air conditioner I bought from B&Q because my home office was too hot in summer. It's now winter and I'm running it in reverse for low carbon heating. It's only a small air conditioner, uh, it, so it runs 24 seven and heats about half my house. Uh, but there are ones available from Amazon, for example, that cost £600 and are three times the power that could heat your whole house. If you're thinking about getting one of these, then get one that is advertised as a reversible air conditioner or a heat pump air conditioner, as it makes it easier. An important feature to get good heating or cooling in an air conditioner heat pump is the dual hose. In the instructions to these things, it will show you to put one hose out the window, but this is inefficient as it blows conditioned air out the house and causes outside air to leak into the house. To run these efficiently, you need to have a second duct to outside to return to the inlet, which is there. To make the holes for the ducts, I used a jigsaw and I used these nice colour matched grills. I have tried to direct the grills to keep the inlet and outlet separate. These grills came with a bit of mesh screen which helps keep the flies out, which is useful. So the next thing you need is to direct the heating or cooling to where you need it, which is where these big ducts come in. I found in some of my testing that one duct was not enough and that I could get better performance with two ducts. So I have one going to the office, through there, and one going to the lounge, through there. And this is all the visible ducting in the house. There's no more ducting anywhere else. The hole through the ceiling I pilot drilled with a one foot drill bit and then I jigsawed on either side of the hole to open it out for the duct. One of these. The hole to the lounge was drilled with an SDS hammer drill with breaker attachment. One of these. This is where the duct comes through to the lounge. There is no obvious sign it's even here, unlike uh, a big radiator for example. The air comes through into a cupboard and I leave the door ajar to let it into the room. That's the duct, the other side. The cupboard seems to act as a silencer, so you can't hear any noise. And you have a nice warm cupboard in the centre of your house. This is where the duct comes through in the office. I've put a grill cover here over a hole that I've jigsawed. Uh, and the duct comes through the floor of the cupboard and then goes through the grill so it looks nice and neat you can't see any ducting in the rest in the in the room um, the cupboard seems to act like a silencer so if I just put that there you can't really hear it But if I put it, if I put it back in there, you can hear it. So it seems to be better if you just leave it free in the cupboard. But anyway, the return flow back to the heat pump goes through the house's internal doors which I have to leave open or ajar. If I were to shut a door, I would lose heating. So I've added some stoppers on all the essential doors. You can see it here. So you can't shut the door. And you've always got this small gap to allow the return path of air to the heat pump. Kitchen door is essential. So what I've done is I've put a little stopper there and because the 
flow of air acts to blow the door open, you can't actually shut it because the heat pump is so powerful that it blows the door open. Even if I try to shut it, it just it just opens to allow enough air flow through and I can feel the air coming through now. I had planned to put grills in all the doors but I found that it restricted the return flow and that some of the air was short cutting through leaks in the house and pulling cold air into the house. So I've abandoned the grills and I just keep the doors open. And with this one I've added a spring there to keep that gap to allow the return flow to the heat pump. I normally just leave it with that open like that. I've also had to properly seal around my garage door to stop drafts coming round the edges. Now this was originally a wooden garage door. It was very drafty, very leaky. You could see, you could see um, gaps through to the outside around the edges of the door and I've properly sealed it up now and I've tested the heat pump with gas and electric consumption readings using an electric meter and my gas meter outside and it does seem to be working and I will post the results in another video. Bye!